YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It is your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. The Liana 57 LMG is the newest weapon to come into Call of Duty Vanguard with an update yesterday. We first learned of the Liana before the start of season five through the season five roadmap, but we didn't know exactly when it was gonna come, just that it was coming after the season five reloaded update. However, I think I speak for everyone when I say that I expected the Liana 57 to release alongside the bp50 and the season 5 reloaded update as that's what has been historically accurate new weapons launch alongside the season 5 reloaded update either through the purchase of a bundle or in-game challenges not a few weeks later or a few days later however that was not the case for the liana 57 as it just released yesterday and the season 5 reloaded update has been out for quite some time now people have been seeing the liana 57 in warzone however as far as vanguard went there was no way to unlock it in vanguard until now similar to dlc weapons in the past there are various ways that you can go about unlocking the liana 57 here here in Vanguard and in this video I'm going to be explaining exactly how you can go ahead and do that. The quickest and easiest but also most expensive way to unlock the Liana 57 is through the purchase of an in-store bundle. If you're alright with forking over 1200 COD points head on over to the store and purchase the Dragon Rider bundle which includes the Dragon Scale variant of the Liana 57 and other cosmetic items. However if you're like me and you'd prefer to unlock new weapons through in-game Game challenges and save your money then you're gonna want to pay attention to this next part here should zombies be your forte and your chosen method of unlocking the liana 57 you're gonna want to hop into a game of zombies and get 500 eliminations with an lmg in a single match however if multiplayer is more your speed and for me it definitely is you're just gonna want to hop into a few games of multiplayer or maybe even just one and get 15 long range kills and that is it if i must say so so myself, the multiplayer challenge is definitely easier and is definitely going to take a lot less time. You don't have to get the 15 long range kills in a single match, you just have to get them overall, which means there's a lot less pressure on you to get those kills than there would be those 500 elims in a single match with an LMG and zombies. This is going to be the final new weapon introduced into Call of Duty Vanguard. Now that said, yes, there is a chance that Vanguard receives similar updates like Cold War did after after Vanguard's release in Cold War, we did see the introduction of new maps and new weapons even after the release of Vanguard, but given the lack of success of Vanguard and the hype surrounding Modern Warfare 2, I don't see that happening this year with Vanguard. In addition, we are unlikely to see any sort of content updates with Vanguard. There's probably not going to be new weapons, like I said, probably not new maps, and probably not any sort of new content with Vanguard after the release of Modern Warfare 2 in just three weeks time. That said, go ahead and hop into Vanguard and unlock the Liana 57 for yourself. Again, this is going to be the final new weapon in Call of Duty Vanguard. So if you're someone like me that likes to have that stacked armory and showcase every weapon in the game, you now know how you can go about unlocking the Liana 57. With Modern Warfare 2 just three weeks away from the time of recording this video and the campaign coming eight days before that you can be on the lookout for modern warfare 2 content coming to the channel in the very near future that said we've also received some gameplay teasers and gameplay footage from modern warfare 2 over the past few days which means the developers are ramping up the hype surrounding this game so be on the lookout for content from the devs in the very near future as well as we move towards the release. Just going to give a quick update surrounding Modern Warfare 2 campaign content. Just like I did with Cold War and Vanguard, I'm going to be bringing a sort of let's play slash walkthrough type of series to the channel surrounding the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. And I'm incredibly excited for that because I love the story in Modern Warfare 2019. So I'm excited to continue it this year. But yeah, guys, that's just effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and comment down, down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads. Let me know in the comments below how you plan about going to unlock the Liana 57. For even more from me, be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content. Also, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, intel, and so much more, be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with IPC on all of our social medias as well as our website. But other than that, I hope you all have a great yesterday and that's been it peace